Let's go paint a Highland cow. I'm Michelle Manriquez from Drop That Brush, and I want to help people who are not artists become artists. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. The photo, the drawing, and the value sketch will be in the description below, so you can paint with me. This photo is, is fun, and it just cracked me up. I don't know what that cow was doing, but he looked worried about something. And the picture was actually taken by Ali Tom. And I thank you for allowing me to share this. This is a Highland cow called Morven. For me, the story is that I, it's like, what's going on? And the nose. The rest of it isn't going to be as important, less uh, value, less everything. So very soft on the side of the cow. The, why do I like this picture? One of the main ones is the values. If you look at one of those, um, you look at this picture, it shows that there is shapes and it goes through the cow. And that's kind of what you're looking for. When I do this, I'm looking constantly at the big shapes. You can see this huge dark shape on one side and on the other side it's lighter so this always going to be an easy painting it makes such a difference if you will just follow the shapes not worrying about whether it's a cow or whatever just a shape you don't worry about the hairs what they're doing that's the last last step so i'm mainly going to do warm uh, colors in the cow and then i'm going to the background i think i'm going to be kind of a funky little just pretty colors, dark pink in his mouth. And so then I'll put a uh, dark pink in the background. I will tone down my browns with warm blues, which will then darken it to make a really dark brown. And so then I'll put those colors also in the background. So I will try to make sure that I'm getting unity in the picture that I'm using the same colors. Let's go paint a cow. Now, where do I have whites? There's white here, a little bit around the nose. So I think I'm going to leave the nose white and maybe the eye. Uh, so I'm just going to get some color for the background. So I'm just going to add some water, let it drip on in. Won't hurt a thing. Whoop, no problemo. So then I'm going to come over here just with color. I'm going to let some of that blend right on in. It does not have to be boring. Okay. So I'm going to kind of avoid the nose tad. I'm going to let, look, I'm looking at this and saying, Ooh, isn't that pretty? Rather than fighting it, all I'm doing is just going to play with it a little bit. Now I am going to uh, put other colors on this, but you know, let it be fun. Right now, I'm just having a good time. Here we go. Oh, I like that. That makes me happy. Getting some color, not getting too excited. Um, I don't want to have hard edges, so I'm going to add a little bit of And you know what? I'm going to just take a little of this. I'm gonna, just gonna move it right here and kind of move it in. Now, I'm gonna soften that edge just for the fun of it. I don't really want to have a hard edge. And I'm just, I don't know if you can see me, all I'm just doing is moving it around a little bit. And I think I'm gonna splatter a little bit. I just love having fun backgrounds. I don't like it if it's boring. Now, I don't know if I like that. Maybe I am gonna just cover it up. 
All right, I'm gonna do this a little differently. All right, as I'm looking, I'm thinking, oh, I don't know, man. Okay, now I'm getting crazy. I'm feeling the craziness happening. You know, the problem is I just, I just like doing this. Do you guys like this? You know, how could you not love watercolor? So I'm just kind of waiting to this dries up just a little bit. Now I don't like this big line, so I'm gonna just pop in a more and kind of make it swirly, make it move, move just a little bit. Right here it's starting to sort of dry. And I'm waiting for this to dry. As soon as this is dry, I will splatter on the other side. Poof, I have a fun background. I can do more with it if I want to, but you know, I'm not sure if I need to. And I have this weird, just kind of a dark area. I really don't like the color. So let's change that. Okay, still playing. Maybe I should need to stop before I get in trouble, right? We don't want it to be crazy. And I'm gonna splatter and kind of let it do its thing. First wash, all done, bam! Doesn't have to be hard. Don't make it hard. Enjoy watercolor. Enjoy the fun, feeling when you do this because truthfully it is fun I would this is my favorite part is starting it up now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the darkers in or at least a medium dark so if I use my blue it will give me grief so I don't want to do that but if I use this purple I can do that and it'll look nice and it will darken the brown quite a bit so I can get a nice dark pretty look at how dark that got the first thing I do is I'm gonna do a shape I am NOT doing a ear hair so I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of put some little movements this way all I'm doing is kind of telling it to go that way. It has little movements. Got excited. Went right over the eye. Sure enough. That's funny. Alrighty then. Look at how many times I mess up and I'm just starting. Just wait. I can really mess up good if I keep working on it. Yep, 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 yep. I think this is okay, but why don't I take this and go ins and outs, and just kind of like it, like I did on purpose, right? And then it just kind of goes over here into this dark shape, right here. Boop, 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 boop. All right, now where's this other dark shape? So at this time, I'm basically putting some dark shapes. There's some medium color, which is the same color, but just light, light browned. And I'm gonna kinda, just kinda tuck it in here. Over here, it's really a dark shape. Right here, see it? And I can see, and it kind of goes this way. See that movement? Over here, <laughs> lost my shape. Where'd my shape go? that there's really kind of a lighter shape, kind of in this area. So I'm just gonna melt it in.
I'm not sure what that is, but how about I just make it dark and I won't worry about it. There you go, problem solved. And I can kind of just tuck it into each other and it will soften edges, which I always love. Now this, this is a, I'm gonna call lighter, but it is this vibrant kind of yellow. And over here, I can see right here, it's kind of a medium tone. Now this is my focus area. So I'm gonna be a little more careful, a little more uh, precise. You know, this is a pretty loose interpretation. This is this is gonna be the little dark area right here. I'm just gonna pop that in. I think I'm gonna um, just put water on it again. And I can see that there's places where, you know, it kind of gets lighter and darker. And, and I'm just gonna kind of tap some spots in. Just like there is movement. You figure it out. And splatter, splatter, splatter. I'm just gonna get a darker gray shade and I'm gonna try to melt that in. Yes, right here. Oh, about a little water. I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna go to that blue because I want it to be different. Now, is it darker or lighter? It's about the same. Okay, note to that. So I'm looking, whatever I do this, it should be about the same value. So, okay, and it doesn't look like the same. Can you guys see that? I see it, okay. So I'm going to try to get the same value right there. Okay. Now I'm going to soften this. And so I've allowed that area to go ahead and um, melt it in. I think I need this to be darker. And while I'm still playing with it, I think I'm going to pop it in. If I can get it at once, it's always good. Now, right now, what do you see? I see a really hard line. How am I gonna handle that? So I'm gonna squeeze um, and kind of just soften it up. And I'm gonna try to make sure that my shapes are interesting, that they're not just boring. And you can see hard edge. So now I'm gonna soften it back up. So I get that that roundness shape. Yeah. And you don't really need to do more than that. As long as you see that one side's lighter, one side's darker, um, it's helpful a little bit to go ahead and um, darken a little bit so that that looks more. Um... But again, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to make it interesting and tap it in and make it fun. I'm not going to just draw this line and make it perfect. And maybe I'm going to, part of it, I'm just going to let it go. See, this is light. This is dark. Um, I got it dark up to here and the rest of it, I'm leaving it alone. This allows me to go straight in. Now, this is not dark enough and I can see that now, but I have the basic shapes in. Okay. I put this green right here. It needs to have a little green here. Look, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring it right here 
into it. It just looks good. What am I not doing? I am not doing every little detail on the hair. That's one of the last things I do. I stay right here until I've got the basic shapes done. That has a lot of the same color as the horn. I just saw that there is this warm color here and I'm gonna pop that in. And so if I do it on one side, I'm gonna do just a little bit here too. I just think that looks really nice. So I have a, let's look at this shape. Now, most of this is not black. There's a little piece of it that's actually truly black, which is right. And it's a, a triangle shape. Everything else is kind of a pinky shade. That kind of goes ins and outs and ins and outs and ins and outs. This makes my dark, dark, dark. While it's wet, I'm gonna throw some of this in. Now there's a dark shape here and not as pinky, kind of duller pink. And I went over the edge, which I do all the time. Again. I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. Tap, tap, tap. All right. I didn't draw that, huh? Do you guys see that? And I'm just gonna soften it out. I think that got a little too dark, so I'm gonna soften this too. See how soft that got? I like that. The real white is this right around there. So that's gonna stay how it is. And I see in the middle, it's kind of a murky gray color, which I have, I have, I have a murky gray. Yay me. I do see little dots. And I'm gonna see if I can pop in a couple dots, which I may make a mess, we'll see. There is, it's a little darker right here. And so I'm just gonna add that in. What's the shape? It goes up and it goes down like that. It goes up and it goes down. And it's right there. See it? It's a little shape. I want to get the eye in. And it's this little triangle shape. Now, when I put the dark around it, it will help. And I'm going to add it into the eye. And this time I'm gonna try to kind of make it move like, like the, <laughs> the thing goes. And so I'm just gonna kind of move it. And then this orangey tone, it loops here. And it I think this is gonna be too bright. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of gray to calm it down. And it turns, I missed the turn. And those little things, they make a difference. It... Oh, I like that. Okay, we're good. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna leave that alone before I get in trouble. So right here, I need to really pop in some more dark. Mm -hmm. 
Now I see color going that way. So now I'm gonna go get a little lighter color. Is this perfect? Absolutely not. If you want to do every single little detail, oh my gosh, I would not want to. That's just a personality thing. I do not like making for hours and hours on this. I just want it to be, you know, kind of fun. I'm just gonna get a little movement here and then I'm gonna put color here, a little lighter. But what I'm kind of doing is cutting out this one little curl. This curl, this curl is a cool little curl. And so I'm working myself to get that curl to make it look cool. Now all of this is quite a bit darker. So, And what happens here? Okay, there's definitely just yellow. So I'm going to go boop. There we go. I am doing some of the detail, but I'm trying to be judicious about having to do everything perfect. Now over here it gets really, really dark, like, like massively dark. So let me really pop that in. And if I go in and out and in and out while it's still kind of wet, I will get that feeling like, you know, I guess that's what I'd like to tell you is, don't worry about being perfect. Nobody's gonna care. The only person that cares is you. The rest of us are kind of like, oh, look at that. It's hair. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and I'm just gonna soften that because I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that. I'm gonna leave that alone. Maybe I will uh, splatter right there. I like that. I've got this pink. And I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and throw it in, but I'm going to, behind it, I'm going to get that really dark again, or pretty dark. So this is going to come over here. Okay, let me get darker yet. Not dark enough. I want it really dark. There's actual whiskers. I'm just going to leave an area that I could pull some out. They're not that important, but this is a big, good, important shape, and I'm going to get that. And we really don't see anything, so you don't need to do a total bunch of stuff. Just gonna continue onward and what's it going it's go it looks like it's going pretty much straight but right here there seems to be some movement so I'm gonna add that in and I think I'm going to go ahead and splatter just to kind of make movement even though I'm not really doing anything but I could use a couple just a little so it doesn't look so just a plain color. So now in this area, I don't want to spend a lot of time playing with this. Um, and I don't want it to be too pretty. <laughs> I'm just trying to get some movements. And I'm going to just simply put water. I don't know if you can see it, I'm kind of splattering. But I'm just kind of moving my brush and just kind of letting it go because I don't want to be very uh, picky. So all my detail, all my little scraping is all right here. I don't know what this is, but I don't like how hard it looks. So I'm gonna just kind of soften it up a little bit so it's not as important because it really isn't a part of the picture that I'm wanting you to focus on. This needs to probably be a little darker. I'm 
just softening this. I'm going to soften the other one a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is to pull things out somewhat. Um, okay, let me do this little curl. So the only one that I'm being even a little bit picky about is I liked that curl. I just thought that was cute. It was a weird little shape and I just like that shape. And see, that's all, you know, it's a personal thing. Now it looks weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soften it, but I'm gonna soften that a little bit. And I'm just looking, okay, there's a little dark right there. That in a little bit. And I've decided I don't like that dull area. So just, I'm gonna pretend there's a little um, color there, okay. There's this lighter area right here. And I think I kind of lost it. And I'm gonna pull out a little bit. Different sizes, different shapes. I take too much, ah, I don't lose it. Okay, I'm gonna pull a little bit out. There we go, I think that's better. Hang on, I got, I got a little bit crazy. I got crazy, baby. So you could spend a long time just pulling things out, making the shapes move where you want them to. I'm gonna darken just a little bit more of the eye. And let it go. It's a fun picture. Don't get so excited. She was so fun. Now you notice what I did is I pulled out information rather than saying every little hair must be perfect. I just pulled out information and my goal was to try to make the hair move the way it goes. Uh, the hair moves this way, then I'm gonna do that hair line that way. It's the edges of the hair that matters. It's not the inside. It's actually the edges. So if you've got the hair and it's going this way, it doesn't mean you have to do every single little hair and nor is it fun, it's boring. So just do enough that we know that this part of the hair is going that way. This is going down. You just need a little information. People can figure out the rest of it. Find the links down in the description below for the photo, the drawing and the value sketch. You know what? When you're not sure what you're doing, drop that brush, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. You have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. Bye.